Hi, it's Will from StoneandCastle.com, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to build the Estes High Flyer rocket. <clears throat> this is a uh, high altitude rocket that goes up as high as uh, 500 meters or 1,600 feet, and it's got streamer recovery, uh, so it doesn't have a parachute; it has a streamer. And it's a very, it's a small rocket, and that's part of the reason why it's so fast. And there's a little bit of work involved, although it's a skill level one. So let me go over some of the parts. When you first open up your bag, and you should always inspect everything, and go by the parts list here in the instructions to make sure you have everything. And the tools you're going to need to go along with this is a ruler, a pencil, scissors, some sanding, some sandpaper, a fine sandpaper, X-Acto knife or some kind of hobby knife, plastic cement, masking tape, and white or, or yellow um, carpenter's glue. The carpenter's glue is better if you got that. And, and um, they recommend, too, that you paint. And I have a recommended paint scheme for this. And I believe the colors are, let me see, red, silver, and black. You have red, black, and gray. And even uh, silver, a silver paint pen, they recommend, or silver tape. Okay, the first thing you do is apply plastic cement to the inside of the nose cone here. And then put the nose cone insert in there. And that's done. And you're all set with the plastic cement. That's all you need it for. Now with the fine now with the fine grain sandpaper, just lightly sand down your sheet of pins here. And then carefully cut these out with your exacto or hobby knife. Okay, now take all three of your fins and stack them up like this. So they're right on top of each other as straight as you can get them and then gently sand all the edges there all the way around okay now you cut out your tube marking guide out of your instructions and you tape it lightly onto your tube a little bit from the end and mark three, spar three spots where your fins are going to go mark where, you mark where your launch lugs are going to go and then follow the directions for this you put this this one's the, my launch lug line put this in a doorway, a door frame, the picture, the instructions show you. Put that in a door frame and then you mark uh, the launch lug line. Okay, now we're going to put the engine, mo the engine mount into the tube, into the rocket tube. And this is a little bit tricky, but I'll show you how we do this. Uh, you make a, get yourself a piece of scrap wood from your fins that's pretty long and mark it at two and a half inches. And also mark your tube here at two and a half inches. See? And uh, mark your spacer block a quarter of an inch from the end there. Now, put some glue on your piece of scrap here and then put that in all the way to the two and a half inches and then apply glue around the inside. So what happens is you're getting glue right here on the inside. So don't put plenty of it. There's no need to be skimpy with it. But that's why you have your line here on this so you can see where you're at. Get plenty of glue in there. Now take your engine block, just put it right inside, now take your spacer, push it all the way in to the line, and then pull it right back out. Now that engine block is right here, and it's sitting in the glue you put in there. So you, now you, you're all set with that, you let that dry. Okay, now let's put the um, engine hook on. You make a line at one inch and at two and a half inches between two of your fins, but not where your launch lug is. I'm one between two of the other fins. And then at the two and a half inch mark, you use your X-Acto knife and make a nice slit in that, a nice wide slit. So that your, your engine hook sits nice and flat like that. Now you take your retainer ring, slide it over the other end, and then slide it right over that hook. Now you're going to put some glue on here. Just past the one inch mark, make sure your hook is nice and straight. And then slide that right down to that one inch mark. Okay, now you glue the fins on. And you know, you know, you know that you have these little spaces on the fins. You apply some glue on the fin.
wipe it a little bit. Put it on the thin line. And then take it off. Now let this sit for a minute or two to let that glue harden. To let that glue set a little bit, get a little bit tacky. Now once that glue has set a little while and it's got tacky, you put another layer of glue right on it. Wipe off the excess and then attach it to the rocket. Now, I um I like to let it wait for a while. Just sit like that and let it get kind of dry before I do the second fin and the third fin. And it's well worth the patience for something like this. You know, I just sit it down in something so it'll stand up straight. And then I'll do the second fin and the third fin. And the same thing, put a little glue, try it, let it sit, put some more glue and then set it. And then once I've done them all, you go back and put another layer of glue even. Once it's dry, put another layer of glue on both sides of the fins and make it nice and strong. The next thing we do is we mount the launching lug. And what I have... Is I've marked on the launch lug line two and an eighth inches up and then I apply some glue to that and put the launch lug right on there. Now I'm going to glue this a little better but this is just to show you. Make sure that's nice and strong on there. Now after the launch lug then we um, do our, power, then we do our um, shock cord and this is how you do the shock cord. You cut it out of the template, you cut it out of the instructions, put a dab of glue on there, fold over section one, put another dab of glue, more than a dab, put a good amount on there, fold over section two, squeeze this nice and tight. So that holds nice and tight and then glue this on the inside of the tube one inch in right about there okay let me show you how to finish this thing up you tie your shock cord to your nose cone at the end tie it in a double knot then you tie your streamer about an inch from the rocket like this now you um, put two or three pieces of recovery wadding in here that's uh, to fireproof it fold your streamer in half Roll it up, insert it in the rocket, then insert all the rubber in there, and put the nose cone on it, and the assembly is done. Now, uh, <clears throat> remember to put your recovery wadding in there. That's important because that will protect the nose cone and the streamer from burning from the from the, uh, the back flash of the uh, rocket, of the engine. So, and there you go. The assembly is done. Next we got to do is paint it. Okay, this rocket is done. I followed the paint scheme according to the instructions and it looks pretty good. So, that's the end of this tutorial.